Hello out there and welcome! Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be recycling an old bottle into a little tea light holder. So first I took my clean bottle, taken off the label, and taped with some masking tape about where I wanted the cut to be. This doesn't have to be perfectly straight, it's just to protect the glass basically as I'm cutting it. Then on the tape I put some dots at about the same height so that I'd have a nice straight line to follow with my cutting tool. And this doesn't have to be perfectly even either, but it really does help to keep it somewhat straight. Makes it easier when I'm going to be filing it and sanding it down later. So then I connected all my dots into a nice straight-ish line, and now I'm ready to bring out the tools. I have my multi-tool with a cutting blade, uh, some gloves, and time to get to work. I'm wearing ear protection because, oh damn, this is loud. Listen to this. I'm sure my camera's not picking up how bad it is really, but it's a really grating noise and it's loud, so protect your ears. And also protect your face, because this is glass. There can be little shards that fly off and they're usually super hot and I've actually gotten burns on my face, so I'm wearing a visor as well. So at first I'm just working in the same space until I get a little hole straight through the glass. You can see it here, there's a hole straight through there. And then it gets easier to just apply pressure gently, uh, to not crack the glass obviously, and just go work all the way around. This takes a little while, um, but it, you get a nice, fairly clean cut, and I think it's a more reliable way than the burning string and the hot, you know, the heating and cooling method that, that it, that's out there as well. So this is the method I chose. I have the tools, so why not? So I heard a crack, and I figured it's probably done. Uh, I think the, the last bit just, just cracked because it was kind of weak. It's a thin, thin glass bottle. So like a loose tooth, <laughs> I just pulled off the top and there you go. It's nice and cut, but this is super jagged and you don't want to touch this with your bare hands. So time to get out my, my uh, sanding paper. I used a pretty rough grain paper at first just to get the worst bits off. And just rub, rub, rub and get that thing nice and smooth. Unfortunately, I noticed that there was a little crack that went a little bit of the way down the bottle. But I actually broke that more and decided that I would make a little divot to hold the wire holder for the tea lights I was going to put in here. So I used, I used my mistakes to my advantage. So now I'm using my tool again with a fine grain little sanding, uh, sanding head and just making it really, really smooth and perfect and, um, you know, touchable. <laughs> just washing it down to get rid of any, any shards that might be there so I can do a little a little feel test. No blood, no screaming, no agony. That's good. And there you go. There's that divot that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be putting some wire in later on. And after a proper washing with some dish soap, but this is this is what the bottle looks like. It's pretty smooth and very shiny, and it looks pretty good. Doing another feel test just to be sure. Now I'm ready to draw my design. I had already done a sketch of what I wanted to draw on in my sketchbook. I'm just making a clean version of it here so that I can transfer it to the glass. This is going to be a goat's skull with a flower and a little bit of a wreath. So I'm just sketching it out here and you know looking back I probably should have done something less detailed. I also think the picture is a little bit too big because this bottle is, is kind of skinny. But it works, it's fine. Uh, it was a, a first attempt. And uh, I definitely could use some uh, thinner versions of these markers because they're pretty thick. So going to my light table now and cleaning up the sketch and adjusting it a little bit, I, um, I noticed along the way that I had put the flower a little bit awkwardly and it was going to be a little bit too tall for the glass. Um, so I went back and changed what I felt I needed to to change to make this go on as smoothly as possible on the glass. I realized pretty quickly that I'd done a little bit too much detail here, so that's why I moved the leaves 
of the flowers so that they don't cross um, cross the bottom of the skull of the goat. And I'm glad I did, because that would, that would not have worked with these markers. They're way too thick for that. So adding on the second horn, I only did one because I was going to mirror, mirror it anyway. And there we go, that's, that's my image. Now I cut out my sketch and place it inside the bottle. This was really tricky. The bottle was pretty thin and it was hard to get it straight and just a uh, pain in the ass, but I got it there. And then I just had to fill in my lines with these, with these porcelain and glass markers. And this was actually a bit of a challenge. I mean, the markers are pretty thick and, I, and you know, that's, that's an issue in and of itself, but that's, that's fine. I could just simplify what I was drawing. But the shape of the bottle actually made this really tricky. I could, it was hard for me to hold it at the same time without smudging what I'd just drawn and then trying to get, you know, the angle right for the camera. It was difficult. But uh, you can see it's going pretty smoothly anyway. Uh, I used a fan now and again to, to dry the ink just a little bit because it's very, very wet. And I was afraid I was going to smudge what I'd just drawn if I didn't do that since I had to, to change my grip sometimes. I chose the gold in this set. Uh, I got the set on sale, as you can see the price tag in the in the in the video. Uh, I chose gold because it complemented the amber glass really nicely. But there's also a copper and a silver in this set. I've used these pens before, actually, and they they hold up really really well in the dishwasher. Um, obviously, this isn't gonna, this isn't going to go in the dishwasher because it's uh, a lantern. But I have a coffee mug that I painted with one of these years and years and years ago, and it still looks great. So. Yeah, these are these are really good and inexpensive and easy to use. So, so get some for yourself and, and try this at home. It's good fun. So adding some gold, some dots on the flower. Um, I added a rim of gold to the top as well to balance everything out later, but I don't show that. And yeah, use my fan. Added another layer because it wasn't quite opaque everywhere. Since it's glass, you can see that through very well. Um, so yeah, here's the finished result, and I'm gonna try to show you. It's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult to to see what I did because the glass is really dark. <laughs> anyway, into the oven for about 90 minutes at not a very high temperature. I think it was 160 degrees or something uh, Celsius. Then I made a little rig for the tea light with some wire just to make it easy to turn it on and off and, you know, lift it out, you know, without getting your, your fingers stuck in a, in a glass bottle. That, that would not be good. So there we go. Nice little rig. And there she is. All done. Kind of spooky, kind of cute, and recycled, which is great. So if you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, please do subscribe to my channel. You can also check me out on Instagram, battylashes underscore art. Well, that's all for today. I hope I could inspire you and thanks for watching. Bye.